Hello everyone. Uh, today we just adding a quick uh, a lecture about using uh, Python, and NumPy, and SciPy, a uh, scientific Py, to solve linear programming problem. I think we have uh, sufficient uh, coverage in the past few weeks about linear programming itself, and um, either the simplex method or the uh, interior point method. And in school, we have a so-called CPLEX as a free license. You can use that for solving uh, a, large, a medium to large scale um, linear programs. However, in the real world, we may not have the luxury to get a CPLEX license. Um, so this is a complete free tools we provide by Python community called Scientific Pi. Uh, today we're going to uh, introduce how to use that as one of the solution tool. Uh, <clears throat> it's still very much under development, and but it has a very good uh, solution and the solution time already. So this uh, Jupyter Notebook, uh, which is up, uploaded in uh, Canvas, you can uh, download this example. First, we're talking about uh, any mathematical program, either the linear or nonlinear program. Uh, we call them optimization model. It will consider several uh, components, these four major components. Uh, the first is objective function. It is a function to be optimized, either maximize or minimize. Okay. And in linear programming sense, we will have a so-called cost coefficient vector, C, and the decision uh, uh, variable is the a controllable variable that influences the performance of the system, which is uh, uh, the objective function value depends on. And constraint, we have a set of constraints we call the linear inequality or equality constraint of decision variable. And a non-negative constraint matrix represented by capital A, okay? And the right-hand side of the uh, linear uh, equation is called uh, lowercase b. Finally, we might have the limitation or limits on the decision variable, which each one of the variable may have a lower bound and upper bound, which is we call it. Sometimes we call it uh, bound on the uh, decision variable, and sometimes we refer as uh, uh, a box constraint. Okay. So modeling steps, usually we define the problem, um, construct the model, translate the problem definition into a mathematical uh, optimization model, uh, model this solution to solve for the model, and model validation, check if the model works as if it's supposed to, finally implement the model. First, I'm going to show a two small example. Uh, one is minimization problem, uh, and this uh, Python uh, library from SciPy, optimal, uh, optimized uh, library, is only handle less than equals to constraint, and we'll show you how to transform them for first. It's a minimization problem, 10x1 plus 15x2 plus 25x3. So 10, 15, and 25 is the cost coefficient uh, vector for the C. And then we have a constraint psi, and we'll say x1 plus x2 plus x3 greater than 10, uh, 1,000, x1 minus 2x2 uh, greater than 0, and x3 is greater than 340, and all x1, x2, and x3 are greater than uh, non-negative, which is greater than or equal to 0. And the program is very uh, simple. First, we're going to import NumPy, and then import a scientific Pi, SciPy, dot optimize, import linear program. This is the solver we need. We got a couple input parameter needs to be taken care of. First is our constraint matrix, is a NumPy array, okay? And second is the right-hand side of the constraint. Okay, including the 
non-negativity constraint. Third is the cost coefficient vector, called C. Then once I have these A, B, and C, we should be able to call the uh, solver. And the solver itself is called lim probe. Uh -huh. uh, first parameter is C, second parameter is the upper bound for A, which assuming is less than equals to constraint. So that the right hand side is the upper bound for A matrix. B is also upper bound for B. So this is the part is represent UB stands for upper bound, which means it's the less than equals to constraint. Uh, pay attention right here. We have converted right hand side since we need to convert these into uh, less than equal. So we multiply both sides by negative one. You see that the coefficient got multiplied by negative one. Okay and the right hand side also so it implies this is less than equal to constraint once we call this uh this solver subroutine and then we can print out the result actually the result is stored in the variable called res and we can print out this uh various solution x so for example dot x is the solution and the optimal value is a result dot FUN is the objective function value at the optimal. And number of iteration to get the optimal solution is res result.nit. And any messages, meaning is this, uh, is this problem uh, final status is optimal, uh, optimization complete, successful, non successful, infeasible, or unbounded. So these are the messages. Uh, showing next we're going to show a maximization problem maximization problem is again is uh, 5x1 plus 7x2 which we want to maximize it and this time we're assuming all the constraints are less than equals to already uh, to convert this into a minimization problem with the uh, less than equals to constraint all we have to do is changing the c vector C vector to negative, so converting uh, maximization problem into a minimization problem. And the rest of them are the same because they are already uh, less than equals to constraint. We don't need to flip the sign for the A matrix. We don't need to flip the sign for the right hand side. Same thing, we can solve this problem and train out the result. So these are the two simple uh, Exemplary problem for you to uh, play with, and you know the syntax, procedure, uh, and so on. Okay, we're also including a problems in on the uh, web page for the SciPy Optimal uh, Lean Program page. Give you that example, and you can double check the solution. Finally, we want to talk about this is not probably what we want to use this uh, library for. We usually want to solve a median to large size uh, linear programs using a computer software. Solving exemplary uh, toy problems, this may not be our optimal goal. So in real world, we usually want to solve a significant size of a problem. And I'm going to refer you guys into a NetLib set of a NetLib test problem of uh, many of the problem uh, we have. So here we can uh, go to and all these problems. They give you, uh, there are the people who are developing uh, linear programming software using these problems to test their uh, software or code. Here we show you how to use that. The first things we want to do is we download the MATLAB format for import them into Python. MATLAB is a software, uh, it's also a linear algebra software, uh, famous use, uh, popular in the industry. Um, <clears throat> but MATLAB is also pay license. But all these test problems I'm referring to, we have a test problem in the MATLAB format. And Python can be easy, uh, can use that easily import MATLAB uh, problem statement into 
our model. All we have to do is using scipy.io and there is a called low load mat. Low mat is a library in the scipy IO uh, library. But again, we're going to include in the scipy optimize linear program uh, portion. Just load a problem, for example, load a problem called AD little and dot uh, MAT, which is MATLAB raw format. I can uh, this directory. I have uh, many of the all these prob test problems in the MATLAB format. So, for example, I can load it in and I storage into a netlib underscore LP objects, and this object contains several things. One is A matrix, B vector and cost coefficient uh, vector. And also it contains uh, two lower and upper bound vector, if they have any. All right, so this is a very standard uh, so-called MATLAB format for NetLab's prob test problem. So I put them into an individual, um, individual vectors or matrices and in NumPy, uh, the only thing I need, uh, we need to take care of is the lower and the upper bound portion for this uh, uh, linear programming solver uh, to define their lower and upper bound. It's a little bit weird. They have to be in the top, uh, tuple, uh, lower and upper for each variable. But we have one tuple. So we need to do a for loop for all the variable reading their uh, lower bound reading, uh, fetch their upper bound, and pair them into a tuple, and storage in array in that case. And also, uh, I assuming if the number is smaller than, than certain torrents, this is 1 to 10, 10 to the minus 10, we call it 0. If the number is greater to the 10, to the, to the tens, we call it infinity. So this is a, a standard for uh, linear program subroutine and also this is sol solver we have a several option here we have a ver uh, option called revised simplex and the traditional simplex and instead of saying uh, revised simplex we just say simplex in that case we're using the original tableau pivot version of the simplex which is less stable for the large size problem, it, but it will show a uh, much nicer step-by-step uh, -step output. Revised simplex method, you just uh, learned that in this uh, class, uh, is the algebra base of the simplex method, and which is uh, efficient for medium size problem, give a better, uh, better uh, solution accuracy. But the one we recommend, and you probably just taking the lecture uh, module six about the interior point method is the most stable method for large scale problem. So thing has changed over time. Interior point method actually been proved uh, right now to be more stable in the large size problem, and but less accuracy. Uh, but we a lot of time we can tolerate the accuracy of the solution and but it can adopt for uh, various uh, form of the problem with uh, uh, non-normal uh, uh, non-standard structure so this is what we use for uh, first we call it c and instead of using upper bound which is less than equals to constraint we're using equality constraint so using a underscore equal uh, B underscore equals it imply all the constraint and equality constraint and specify the bounds which we uh, formatted in the previous cell right here. Then we'll talk about a method using interior point method and majority of the uh, large test problem from the MATLAB matrix are the sparse matrix we have to specify the A matrix the constraint matrix in the sparse format. Okay, so the system understand the way you storage these large uh, A matrix. And you can show the result and we can compare this to the uh, 
this or uh, the already known uh, optimal solution uh, from the NetLab uh, example. I will attach that to uh, Canvas as well for you to double check later on if you want to solve these type of problem. Are you getting the optimal solution or not? Finally, I just want to uh, quickly uh, give you a, a presentation on the A matrix actually for this problem. It's a storage in the sparse uh, matrix format. It specify each one of non-zero elements in the uh, matrix. Okay, the, the rows and columns and what is the value. Other than that, it's assuming to be zero. So this is a standard sparse matrix storage method. We conclude this set of uh, 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 lecture. We continue with future nonlinear programming algorithm also provided in SciPy uh, optimized library.